Hey YouTube, this is Jaden Storm coming at you with another video segment on cards that make my dick hurt. And this is on segment 31, if I'm correct. And um, the card that I'm going to be talking about today, I believe, is the first card out of this clan that I have talked about on this segment. And I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever mentioned this clan. And that is Nova Grapplers. And that's because I really haven't come across a Nova Grappler card that really grabs my attention like everything else does. Um, you know, I think the Riser series was okay. And then, you know, I'm not real crazy about the uh, Cosmo Lord, but that's just me. Um, but the one I'm going to be talking about is Strongest Beast Deity Ethics Buster Extreme. Guys, when I read this card and heard about it, I was like, are you freaking serious? You know, because Beast Deities already got a little, got a lot of support out of set, uh, out of set 9. They got the cross ride for Azure Dragon, Beast Deity, that. But, uh, you know, I just, I was like, wow, are you serious? There's going to be more Beast Deities in the future, and I was right. Or, I was wrong, but whatever. Um, so anyway, um, before I read Super Beast Deity Ethics Buster Extreme, I'm going to read the first level of them, which is just Beast Deity Ethics Buster, and it comes in set 10. And um, so I'm going to read him to you. He comes out in set 10 for the American meta, which comes out in December, and he's been out in the Japanese meta for a long time, but I just don't really think this card was really playable until, you know, Ethics Buster Extreme came out. I mean, you could probably use him with a Luminal Dragon or... The Razor series. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure someone found some use for him in Japan, you know, while they were waiting for Ethics Buster Extreme to come out. But, you know, that it's just, you know, I, I don't think he got his full potential until you got Ethics Buster Extreme out of him. So anyway, this is what Ethics Buster Extreme does. When an Overgrappler rides this unit, your Vanguard gains plus 10,000 power, and when this unit attacks a Vanguard, stand all of your Nova Grappler rear guards in your front row until the end of turn. So that is your break ride ability. So your new unit is going to gain plus 10k, and when your vanguard attacks, you're going to get to stand the two units in your front row. So that's good. Now let's go back over to Strongest BCD Ethics Buster Extreme, which is the cross ride to Ethics Buster. Um, I know that's a tongue twister, but go with me here um so strongest beast death strongest beast deity ethics buster extreme his ability is limit break when this unit's drive check reveals a grade one or greater card with beast deity in its card name choose one of your nova grappler rear guards and stand it did you hear that when this unit's drive check reveals a grade one or greater card with beast Deity, in its card name, choose one of your Nova Grappler rear guards and stand it. And then is stand, the standard cross ride ability. If you have a card named Beast Deity Ethics Buster in your soul, this unit gets plus 2,000 power, so he'll be sitting at 13 at all times. But listen to that limit break, guys. When this unit's drive check reveals a grade 1 or greater card with Beast Deity in its card name, choose one of your Nova Grappler rear guards and stand it. Guys, now keep in mind, when this card comes out, there will already be a slew of cards that have Beast Deity in the name for grade 1 and 2 and three, so they're going to be all over the place. And keep in mind, with this build, you're going to play a shitload of stand triggers. You're probably going to play anywhere from eight to twelve stand triggers to fuck with critical triggers. You don't need them. Um, you know, um, the fact that you can, because think about it, guys. You're going to you're going to have Beast Deity Ethics Buster right here. Okay, you're going to be chilling here with Beast Deity Ethics Buster, and you're going to be at four or five damage, and you're going to cross break ride with strongest beast deity ethics buster extreme so you're going to gain plus 10k put him at 21 bust um ethics busters in the soul so he goes to 23 and then you're going to go rear guard rear guard you're going to swing with ethics buster that's going to kick his limit break off and you're going to stand your two front row rear guards and then you're going to probably be using the starter known as Beast Deity Riot Horn. And whatever, he's whatever rear guard he's behind, he's going to stand up as well. And then you're going to twin drive. You're going to check your two cards. And if you hit a grade, and if you're going to hit, you know, another stand trigger or another grade one, two, or three for sure. I mean, it's going to happen. It's impossible for it not. 
and you're going to stand the rear guard behind your other front row rear guard, and you're going to have two more attacks. So this gets you, in a way, this is going to get you one, two, three, four, five attacks. And it is just... Oh, P, guys, I mean, I was looking at Strongest Beast Deity Ethics Buster, and then I was looking at Strong, um, the Reverse Ethics Buster. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm more scared of Strongest Beast Deity Ethics Buster Extreme. I'm more scared of it than I am the reversed one. I don't think the reversed one is really that great. I mean, yeah, it, you can pretty much loop it the same way, and you can get a shitload of attacks, but... Guys, this Limit Break with Ethics Buster Extreme is unreal, because you're going to stack your deck with nothing but beast deities. And so his limit break is going to happen. So you are guaranteed every turn, in a way, to get five attacks off. I mean, that is just stupid, you know? I mean, that you're guaranteed to get five attacks off. And it's not like Aqua Force, you know, the well, the old Aqua Force deck, where you're going to get maybe five attacks off, but, you know... Three of them is going to be 11 here, 10 here, 9 there. You know, it's going to, they're, they're going to be good numbers. Because keep in mind, you if you could have your way, you'd want two Hatred Chaos in the front row, which is the 12th Cat Attacker for Beast Deities. So, Jesus. You know, I mean, Ethics Buster Extreme is going to be very popular in America. And I'm pretty sure he's pretty damn popular in Japan. Um, I see this card, you know, possibly, you know... I, I, I did say in a previous video, uh, you know, I think the top five clans are decks that can restand the Vanguard. I think this is one that could sneak in that top five just because you're guaranteed to get five attacks off every turn when you're at limit break. I mean, it is pretty dumb. So anyway, guys, <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. So anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what you think about Ethics Buster Extreme. Do you agree with me that... Are, do you agree with me that Ethics Buster Extreme is better than the reversed unit? Um, you know, I, like I said, my reason behind that is is at Limit Break, you're going to get five attacks off every turn guaranteed, and you're not going to have to lock anything. Because with the reverse unit, you have to lock two units just to get his ability off. And, you know, that's why Ethics Buster Extreme to me just seems more deadly. You don't have to give anything up, and you're going to add more cards to your hand, and you're just going to keep attacking. Just so, so good. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, thumbs up this video for me, and I will see you later.